This is Ted with Camel Rush, and we're the creators of the Camel Apps 4 and the Camel Apps Mobile. You can find those at camelapps.com. It's simply a tool to help make panning time lapses rather than just regular stagnant time lapses. It helps you get a bigger view of things uh, in your time lapse, and it makes great B-roll and great Facebook videos or Instagram videos just to describe the event you're at. So today we're going to talk about, let's say if you have a Camel Lapse 4 and you took a time lapse with a GoPro, for example, you're going to want to put all of those photos into a time lapse video and I'm going to show you how to compile that. Right here I have a bunch of photos, uh, that I, a time lapse photos that I took at the beach the other day. I'm going to compile those together. You know, I've researched and used so many different programs and you know what? I'm just going to cut to the chase and show you the easiest, most inexpensive one to use, and it's called Zytraffer. If you go to the App Store and type in time lapse, you'll find this one for free called Zytraffer, Z E I T R A F F E R. It's free, uh, download it, it's really quick and easy to use. Uh, so let's hide that for now. I'm going to bring it up right here, Zytraffer, and it's just this small, very plain window and you press choose where it says images to choose from and you direct it to your folder basically once you have your folder full of your photos you press choose and it's going to load them in and right then all you have to do is press export pretty easy cheesy you can name your video i'll name it beach camo lapse and you can say where to store it you can change the frame rate here normally video is 30 frames per second if you want to slow that down you could put let's say 15 frames per second but you can also do that in iMovie or Final Cut Pro so we're, we're going to leave it for now uh, I mean we'll slow down the footage in Final Cut Pro if we need to the output size it's just going to take the output size of your photos uh, these photos are happen to be 4 by 3 or 4,000 by 3,000 pixels and we're going to leave it in the QuickTime format you can also put it in the MPEG-4 format so we're going to press it already as you can see it made the beach camel apps dot move it's processing really quick now of course this is just a technique you would use for Mac OS X uh, PCs is a diff different process obviously and if you're using the iPhone or Android there's programs on there that'll compile your footage right for you and we're going to put that in a different video you can find it on the camel apps mobile site at camelapps.com as well under tips and tricks uh, right now we're just working on os 10 or os x if you will because um you know if you have a camera outside of your iphone uh it's just going to leave you with all these photos or one big video file so right there uh it finished making the camel apps already we'll double click this and we can watch it and there you go it's a quick and easy camel lapse it's not as smooth right now as when you would finally um, release it in your final uh, movie uh, but when it puts it in your final movie in a better codec it'll play it even smoother so that's it now you can take this file and put it in your favorite NLE usually iMovie or Final Cut Pro on the Mac and um, edit it from there as you will add some add some music add some titles uh, put it in your favorite uh, vacation video as part of your vacation or just upload it straight to YouTube or Facebook or Instagram it's, it's a really fun way to show your brief moment of your day so again you can find the camel apps at camelapps.com uh, thank you for watching the video and look towards that website for more tips and tricks and we hope to see you again soon.